To create a user-created time series, download and open a UCTS template. Click on the first cell of the yellow row in the pane on the right. Enter an eight-character mnemonic starting with TS. This is the unique code that will help users find and identify your time series and data stream. This time series will have the code TSUKRPI2. Click the cell next to name. We'll call this time series UK Retail Price Index. Press enter to confirm the name. Enter a management group for the series. Management groups allow you to sort your UCTS in different groups, for example, UK or general. You can have up to 200 time series in a single management group. The group name can contain up to 10 characters. We'll create a management group called UKI. Select a number of decimal places to display. You can either enter the number directly into the cell or select a number from the drop-down list. Our time series will display data to two decimal places. Select 2 from the drop-down. Click the plus button to add them to the time series. Enter a qualifying unit for your data. For example, tons, US dollars, or sterling. The As Percentage field enables you to choose whether you want to express the values as a percentage or as actual values. Select Yes to express the values as a percentage. Select No if you want to display the values as actual values. We want the values to be expressed as actual values, so we will select No. Select the type of frequency conversion. This determines how the series is handled if you use a lower frequency than the one stored. We'll select End. Click the plus button to add End to the series. Select the date alignment. This controls how the data is mapped to the period. We'll select Mid. Click the plus button to add mid to the series. Select the carry indicator to indicate how to deal with null values. Select yes to carry the previous value. Select no to display a null value. Select pad to carry the latest real value to the present day. The optional currency field allows you to select a currency for your series. Click select to choose a currency. We'll select United Kingdom pounds. Click select to confirm your choice. Select the upload type. Full uploads all the values. Partial uploads changed values only. The date range defines the start and end date of the time series. You can set the date range using the Set Date Range dialog. Enter a start date and end date in day, month, year format. Choose a frequency. We'll choose monthly. Click OK to finish. The template updates with a date range for your time series data. Now you can add values for the series. We're going to paste in a set of values that we copied from another data source. When you have finished adding values, select the time series mnemonic cell. Click Upload to upload the time series to the data stream database. If you have left any fields empty, a dialog showing default values for any empty fields appears. You can at this stage return to the template and define the field values. However, in this case, we have completed all the fields and the prompt indicates that the upload was successful. Click OK.